where it needs organizing. <laughs> You know, anyway, so I, I do. Yeah, my goal is my goal is to get everything completely done, wrapped up within a month. So that gives me another couple of weeks to tie up the loose ends and, you know, put all the kitchen stuff where <laughs> to go. And then I have to decide, you know, where what shows, what covers, what. You where know. should it go? Yeah. But, you know, it's rewarding when you actually get it done, right? <laughs> It is. It definitely. It definitely is. It definitely is. It's such a relief too once you finally get it all. Yeah. Yeah. And so, anyways, person, it's hard for it's me a, to start. One could say it's a. It's a. It's a. One could say it's a. It's a mundane, temporal joy. <laughs> as a. Exactly. As a. As a completely blatant segue into That's our a good segue into, discussion. Yeah. Today we're going to continue discussing the sh the joy of Shinjin, mm. as I recall, because yes. we only got about sort of halfway to where I think we wanted to with the last discussion, because we spent much of it talking about the Monkey King. No, <laughs> it was <laughs> not just the Monkey King, but the related text uh, to do yeah. with the monkey and how that relate bared on some of the things we were we were reading last week and things but anyway so great so shall we start with gosho and nimitsu yes, as definitely yes namo amida butsu namo amida namo amida namo 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 all right. So, where exactly did we did we leave off last uh, time? I was... uh, we were talking about. I was just listening to it. Um, we had talked about we talked about the passage that I had, you know, made reference to about the joy, you know, oh, the great joy of you know flowing into the ocean of the vow. I can't mm. remember exactly how it goes of Shinrons. But then we were going in more depth with some other. With some other passages, um, that's right. Uh, I and I do remember now. Um, that's where the monkey king came in because uh, yes, Shinron uh, sort of references Jean the monk, the Chinese monk Jean Zhang's um, Tang Great Tang record of yes. the Western regions. <laughs> yes, and um, sort of makes an allusion to. Uh, you know, I think the reason he does that too, I was thinking about it, is uh, you know, he's sort of drawing an analogy uh, with the to the 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 joy and excitement of discovering the you know the scriptures and the commentaries from India and from China, and then finally from Japan. You know, the the Japanese masters uh, Genshin and and uh, of course, Hone and Choni. So it's kind of an interesting, you know, illusion. And then, of course, he sort of makes the passage. He deepens the meaning by saying, by adding some uh, words. I um, maybe we should pull up the passage and then uh, we could discuss. I think we already did discuss that quite. Where did we leave off? Um. Uh, I can't remember exactly where, but it was kind of we we got to a point where in the in the passage it was kind of discussing, basically saying that Shinjin is joy, is is was equating yes. um, that the Shinjin obviously being the Buddha mind, Buddhist you know the Buddha state, the 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 uh, the heart mind of Amida. Um, it's, you know, you know, the mind without doubt, the, you know, is mm. joy. Of course it is. <laughs> and I was making the point that of course it is. Joy. <laughs> if that's, you know, that's it. So what, if Shinjin is the true and sincere and real mind, then yes, of course it's joy. Mm. But anyway, that's, I think that's kind of where we. Yes. Remember I, now I exactly where we. Yeah. Where, should I uh, go ahead and share that yes. passage? Yes, please. Let me let me allow. Sorry, I, I uh, 
I didn't allow the, oh, no, I don't want to share myself. I did that last week. Let's get the settings. There we go. Multiple participants can share. You should be able to share now, I think. Okay. Let's see here. Um, where would that be? Ah, share your screen. Here it is. Okay. Um, share. Uh, yes, so this is the passage. Um, can you see the screen? I can, indeed. Okay. Uh, right here. So, um, perhaps I should reread the passage? Yeah, reread re that, yeah. And then there was, there was, I thought there was something later on that we were... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Discussing. But yeah, but read this. This is where we started. So, well, yeah, read this and then... Yeah. So Shenron writes, how joyous I am, my heart and mind being rooted in the Buddha ground, of the universal vow, and my thoughts and feelings flowing within the Dharma ocean, which is beyond comprehension. I am deeply aware of the Tathagata's immense compassion, and I sincerely revere the benevolent care behind the master's teaching activity. My joy grows ever even fuller, my gratitude and indebtedness ever more compelling. Therefore, I have selected passages expressing the core of the Peerland Way and gathered here its essentials. Mindful solely of the profundity of the Buddha's benevolence, I pay no heed to the derision of others. May those who see and hear this work be brought either through the cause of readily embracing the teaching or through the condition of others' doubt and slander of it to manifest Shinjin within the power of the vow and reveal the incomparable fruit of enlightenment in the land of peace. And I think we got about to the middle, maybe, in our discussion. Mm -hmm. We were talking mm -hmm. about the, the joy of uh, heart and mind being rooted in the Buddha ground of the universal vow, and letting yeah. thoughts and feelings flowing within the Dharma Ocean, which is beyond comprehension. And this is a problem, you know, I, I have with, um, probably heard, uh, you know, uh, that your your feelings aren't important when it comes to Shinji. That yeah. kind of stuff. Yes, indeed. And, and yes, indeed. I, I know it well. I know the, I know the rhetoric <laughs> well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I know you, you have heard probably that kind of thing. And here, you know, he's saying, "I my thoughts and feelings are flowing within the Dharma ocean. So the thing is, is we as human beings, we think we have thoughts and we have feelings. There's no way we can, um, you know, not, not have those, right? But the problem with saying, for example, that Shinjin isn't, isn't, a, isn't feelings, um, that is, that is true if we take there's there's a distinction to be made here the joy that i might have from encountering the vow is what's called uh in japanese uh, sojo so it's the expression the sort of um how to put it the expression of shinji in, in as i experience it right as it but I shouldn't then take the joy and say the joy is Shinji. It's more like, although, although the joy is Shinji, I shouldn't take my feelings or my, my thoughts, my, my enjoyment of that joy and then say my idea or my enjoyment is the same as Shinji. It's, mm -hmm. do you understand what I'm trying to say? I you do. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I miss, yeah. I think I misspoke what I was trying to express um, earlier that we were discussing last time. Uh, where, you know, we, we, we weren't really saying that Shinjin is joy. We were, it was more like the, the, the natural response to Shinjin is joy. It, it, that it's a natural, a natural. <laughs> the Xing, see, the Xing Xing, of... it's and that again. This is my the calculative Xing... thinking sneaking in here again. My, that, my, right. my, uh, my pesky but calculative no. thinking. Anyway. But I think you were actually right, the point you made. I, that Xing, the Xing Xing is the joy. Okay. But 
I shouldn't become attached to any particular aspect of the way I experience that mm, mm, and then yeah. say that is Shinji. And if I don't have that particular experience, then I don't, I don't or I do. Have yes, that. yes. That's the distinction, right? That's but a very what, different. What you said, yeah, there's a there's that, a subtle. But what you said about Shinji is joy. Shinji is right. Okay, is true. Yeah, then that correct. was right. Okay, I had that right. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I had that right. Okay, but yeah, the, there's <laughs> there's a that's a big difference in saying, "Oh, don't worry about your feelings. Feelings aren't important." And saying, "Right, you're." Um, don't get too wrapped up in your the particulars of your specific mm. feelings of joy in response to you know Shinjin or having you know or having Shinjin or or that mm. experience uh because because of what you just said you know you know in the human realm its feelings are fleeting and distorted right. you know um and so uh yeah, it's it, you know it, this is kind of referencing to me the 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 kind of um, you know we, we the structure of Shinjin. We had the we did the episode you know the first episode of the series. We talked about we using mm -hmm. the definition of Shinjin and how it pointed out that there's that it's the dichotomous you know relationship of you know it's the bomb with bamboo mind and the Part mind of Amida, the Buddha mind, are one. Uh, yeah. So, but our experience still as Bamboo, as humans, is still going to be, still going to be, I'm still going right. to have the experience of feelings in the human realm. You know, but the right. real and the, you know, I'm not going to experience the joy of the joy as a Buddha experience joy, <laughs> the Buddha mind as the Buddha mind, but that's still a part of Shinju that yeah true and real experience of do you know what i mean but i'm still gonna ex but, but i'm still gonna experience it as a bamboo as a human being you know how right. i still have feel you know that, do you see what i mean um some somewhere in there i think is kind of that i just that came to mind while we were just having this part of the, mm -hmm. the discussion does that yeah. somehow bear on on this can yeah i think so i mean I, you know, the problem I have, I hear people say, don't worry about your thoughts and feelings is <laughs> there. That is, that is, means that people are saying, well, I, you know, I don't feel any particular joy, right? You know, there's nothing joyful about Jodo Shinshu and, you know, that's a that's a problem. That's that's not just something you should ignore, right? That's if you're not feeling uh if because the the realization of Shinjin brings joy. It is joy. I mean it's to hear and rejoice, Shraddha and Sanskrit, like we talked about. So so if there isn't some benefit to you know receiving to to realizing Shinjin then we want we sort of run the risk of making Shinjin into like a abstraction kind of or something that isn't um relevant to in in Shinron and Jodo Shinshu is very clear that Shinron uh, that Shinjin brings benefits you know he talks about the 10 benefits but specifically it's the benefit of being embraced as we are in this life you know entering into <laughs> the the state of of non of not falling back from enlightenment and having birth in the pure land be assured and and that's what we call you know liberation or salvation here and now you know it's not something we have to wait for yeah it's Shinran says it's it's neither the the middle of life nor the end of life it it, it has nothing to do with time or place it's it's here and now that we can experience that. So we have to be very careful about sort of downplaying, you know, the the kangi, the the joyous, the joyful, the assurance. And, you know, 
according to Shinran, I, I want to share this passage too, but the, the term uh, gyo, the in joyful, it's it's often translated joyful faith. But the joy character has, has many, many meanings, and they're all included. So we, yeah, we, we keep mentioning that. I want to get to those yeah, yeah multiple meanings that you know that yeah that, you know in general in in the in the Chinese or Japanese and anywhere where where Shinran fleshes that out you know or brings that out as he often does with these things. But anyway, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Well, he, and he does, and it's very it's very interesting and it's re relevant to this conversation. But um, what what are your thoughts on what I just said about you know we need to um be careful we're not turning Xinjiang into some sort of thing we can't experience. That's yeah. that's completely divorced. Somehow. Separate. Or, yeah. But that because, would be a get that would be well that would be as I was just making reference to, that would be actually not Shinjin. <laughs> right. Because exactly. the exactly. the definition of Shinjin is we and the Buddha mind are one. So, mm. you, you know, Shinji, we, you know, that is Shinji. Um, yeah. We, but we're still going to experience, we're still going to, and we're going to experience it though. We're still in the human realm. So we're going to experience that in the human yeah. realm. We're going to experience right. that here and now. Um, just as we are without, just, you know, without undergoing any, how to put it, any um, special cultivations. So or training, you know. or yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Go so, ahead. What was what did you say? I I spoke over you there. Sorry. Please say again what you were going to say. Without we experience it without. Mm. Say what well, I was going to say we experience it without any substantive change in our um our nature as a bombu as an unenlightened being. In other words, yes. we don't we don't attain enlightenment, but we are given the Buddha's mind. Yes. And it becomes ours. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. And that is that has to be experienced. There's, and that's where the you know um the kangi, the the joy, the assurance, the you know, we can get into all the different meanings there, but that's where that comes in. And that's why it is in the sutra Shinjin Kangi. Those four characters. Go to our one part in the sutra, you know. Um, Mongo, uh, Mong, yeah, uh, Mongo Myogo, Shinjin Kangi, Naishi Ichinin. Those who hear my name and realize faith, Shraddha, and, and rejoice. So, hear Shraddha, uh, rejoice. Yeah. Even even one for even one thought moment one, moment, one, one moment. thought moment yeah. and of course we need to get into what one thought moment means because that's a that's quite another discussion too but we'll we'll get there you know we're we're yeah. still <laughs> exactly. <laying> and, and... <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah um oh there was something else in there that mm. uh i wanted to pull a thread on um No, I can't. I can't think of it. Uh, but uh, there is something I'd like to go back to in the passage. Okay, let me share the screen again, and we can. It's more about the passage than necessarily Shinjin, but it could be. It could be related to the process of Shinjin arising. I suppose. Mm. Uh, always risking my <laughs> exposing my calculative thinking, but um, so there's the. There's a line, let's see, so uh, where's the part where he says, not worrying, oh, there it is, yeah, so it says, so therefore I've selected passage exp passages expressing the core of the Pure Land way and gathered, its, gathered here its essentials, mindful mm. solely of the profundity of the Buddha's benevolence. I pay no heed to the derision of others. Boom. Yeah. That leapt off the page at me last week. We just were trying to cover too many things and talk about too many things. 
Um, and I yeah. wanted to come back to that. Mindful solely of the profundity of the Buddha's benevolence, I pay no heed to the derision of others. Do you know that for most of my time in exploring Jodo Shinshu with the, uh, well, with the, the two different um, sanghas or organizations that I was mm. directly, you know, um, you know, a, a member of and, and interacting with. And yeah. even just indirectly worried, when, you know, when I had my own previous channels, uh, previous incarnations of my channel, and even the current one, up until probably a bit of time after we were working together and, and having these discussions, maybe about, I don't know, six, six or six months or so, up, so all that time up to that point, I was very worried about the derision of others. <laughs> yeah. I was worried about getting criticism from the the sorts of, you know, uh, whatever points from the true Shin Buddhism camp. I was worried about getting, you know, criticisms or or whatever from the from the Amida G camp. I was worried in my in my you know both my channels and in general uh about even you know someone from the Hanguanji and 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 or BCA seeing what I was doing and thinking well that's too fundamentalist or that's not do you know what I mean or do you know what I mean so yeah. from every yeah. direction I in my mind I, I was I was worried about I was I was paying heed to the imagined or real imagined or real derision of others. Uh, but mm -hmm. after, you know, I finally started to engage in a true Dharma dialogue, mm -hmm. like I did with you, uh, which I, I think I really did for the first time. I think any time in the, whatever, 15 or 17 years before that, or whatever it was, it, it was, it was kind of baby steps, dipping my toe in the water, it was mostly me just reading, you know, and listening to the, but not really engaging, engaging a bit in Darbal dialogue, but not really, and certainly not in the way that you know, that, that Shinran and, and Renyo, especially Renyo, encourage us to to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly yeah. not at all. But now I, I, you know, and I finally came to that point, made that decision. It, you know, I'm doing, you know, Jodo Shinshu until it, until I die, you know. <laughs> And I'm doing this the way I'm supposed to do it. Since then, and since I really entrusted myself to that process and entrusted myself to the teachings and really immersed myself and really mm -hmm. started speaking up, really, really talking about my doubts and the barriers yeah. and the questions and the frustrations and really being honest with that um, and about that, um, I haven't. Then, you know, since, you know, so, you know, about six months in, you know, if I look back, I probably wasn't worried, I, you know, after that point, or it became less and less to the point where I'm not, I'm not worried mm. about the derision of others at all at the moment. <laughs> I, I'm really not paying heed to it at all, uh, mm. real or imagined, uh, yeah. whether it's happening or, or not, um, because the profundity of the Buddhist Buddha's benevolence, you know, mm. is, is yeah. what I'm more in my mind is what's more in my life, which is what's more, uh, because of the Jodo Shinju teaching, because of immersing myself in this process of, of real deep listening of true deep listening of true Dharma dialogue, um, and truly trying to as best I can within my limitations, understand the teachings uh, for myself um, and not worrying about all that. You know, the other part of that heeding the derision of others is heeding the trying to peep, trying to trying to fit in, trying to wanting to be a part of wanting to wanting to be a, you know, part of the fraternity or wanting to, you know, wanting yeah. to to be part, you know, part of the community and a true, you know what I mean? And all this and wrapped up in that rather than 
that comes as a consequence of the path, you know. Right. Um, and yeah, all three Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, you know, you've, you've got to have all three. But it's, you know, do you see what I'm saying? It's a different, there's a mm, different totally. thing yeah. in how I'm approaching it now to how I was approaching it. Yeah. In, you know, up to about December of, I don't know, when 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 did we start working together? I can't even remember now. Was it? Uh, it was, I think, September wow. of September or November, September or October of 2001. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, I think you might have um, reached out to me at the end of of uh, two thousand one, and then we sort of started. Oh. Really two, last... uh, twenty, sorry, twenty twenty one. Sorry, <laughs> twenty twenty one. I was saying two thousand. I was saying two thousand one. I meant twenty twenty one. Yeah, so it was twenty twenty one. So we end up, but I started. I started corresponding with with uh, uh, I can call by sensei in mm, about September yeah. October of 2021 then started we i think we started our talks in late december of 2021 yeah. we actually physically started well not physically but you know actually started talking zoom via meetings. video yeah. yeah having having zoom meetings but we were we were corresponding then as well via messenger so right. between that point and maybe you know six months later so from like mm. Um, you know, a few months in for you know, I don't know, March, April of of 2022 is when I just started to just I wasn't worried. I wasn't. I wasn't. You know, I just. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. By degrees, it was. It wasn't. I wasn't completely gone, but it was lessening, and it was a process. I think from the beginning when I really, you know when I really kind of dove in and entrusted to the teaching and to the math and to the Dharma dialogue, it just started lessening and lessening. And I think all of that is an, I just wanted to point that out. That all came out of that passage for me. Right. You know, when I, when I read that. And that is, yeah, such a, such a, so wonderful to hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, I think, uh, you know, probably in your case, it took some time to to sort of re to unlearn the mental habits of of thinking. Oh, if I say something, somebody's going to be mad. You know, so somebody's going to be upset. Somebody's not going to like it. <laughs> um, exactly, exactly. But, a bit of like almost like deprogramming in a way. You know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, unlearning, yeah, really, deprogramming. Yeah. You know, yeah, but. Uh, mm. But what you will find in any true Jodo Shinshu Sangha or temple or community is that you are always, you are free to, one, be yourself, whoever you are, come just as you are, and you will be welcomed. And two, speak up, say what's on your mind, and no one will be, and you will be <clears throat> respectfully heard and considered and that is how you know a mature um, uh, religious you know community functions, right? So it's very exactly. important. And but um, it just it just the way it's stated here, mindful solely of the profundity of the Buddha's benevolence. Boom. Mm. You know, I pay no heed to the derision of others. Now that's with me now. That's just going to be. That's just that line is with me now. You know, that's just going to be, you know, whenever I start to hear those that the monkey minds, the monkeys going, oh, but what about, <laughs> yeah, but oh, they might say, they might say, or, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or somebody's criticism or whatever it is, or, or, oh, I, I, you know, am I being, am I respected in the community or, oh, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm just, that's, <laughs> that's, uh. That that passage right there would be forever with me. Okay. Yeah, and that is that's wonderful to hear. And uh, I do think this is so important. Mindful, like you just said, the profundity of the Buddha's benevolence. And this reminds me of what Rinyo Shonin said about listening. 
and the water and wearing away the stone mm -hmm. passage. Mm -hmm. And he says, um, it's because of the power of the Buddha's benevolence that mm -hmm. the listening leads to leads us yes. to changing. So so important. The the Buddha's compassion, of course, it's translated here benevolence, but compassion. I, I actually wanted to see what the Japanese is. Because... And the, while you're finding that, there's the yeah, line yeah, from yeah. there's a line from Renyo, a passage from Renyo, I think one of his letters where he says, um, uh, I can't remember it exactly, but you know, I never can remember these things exactly. Uh, but the uh, the passage was, uh, you know, if you listen listen deeply with your entire being. With you know, uh, because of you will you will experience or you will receive shinjin because of gr the, the Buddha's great compassion. Yeah, it's something. It's even passion. more yeah, profoundly that stated than that. Yeah. But it's even yeah. more. But I'm just giving you a yeah. Are you? Is that the passage you're trying to find from Renyo? I thought it was from. Yeah, I thought you found you were talking about one from Shinra. No, I wanted to see the what the Japanese of this passage is. Oh, but yeah. The one you yeah. said, that is the passage yes. from Rinya. Yeah, that's, that's that's definitely from Rinya. Rinya. Yeah. And that harkens of this, you know, what we're talking about. That's why I, right. I raised it. Maybe I'll try to maybe I'll try to find that one, uh, myself here. And uh, uh so the Japanese for this line is um <clears throat> I did find it. Tada buton no fukaki koto omote jinrin no asakiri azakiri azakiri yo hajisu. So, yeah, but, the Buddha's benevolence is buton, and this often appears in the phrase buton hosha to to repay the the Buddha's benevolence. So, um, it's sometimes said that we are. <clears throat> We are, as Shinshu followers, we are, uh, you know, our our job, basically. <laughs> what, what do we do? We we repay the Buddha's benevolence. Bhutton Hosha. Yes. So it's it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thoughts and wonderful passage. And again, I do want to bring out something now I want to... Can, I, can I just say one more thought on yes, this? Please do. Wow. Yes, can yes. I just Can I just say one more thought on this? With me Absolutely. explaining how this experience came about with the my entrusting to the Dharma dialogue, to the path, to really doing it, you know, the way that the Dharma masters have taught it. Um, you know, I bring, I come, I keep raising the process of Shinjin, you know, this, mm. me, me, not, you know, gradually not paying heed to the derision of others i think might be part of that process again i know this could be risking <laughs> discussing my my calculative thinking but i i just you know this is one of those things i wanted to bring into this discussion about shinjin mm. you know a shinjin arising you know and then it settles mm. you know there's this there's a there's a point where it's it's shinjin mm. is you know settled your birth is mm. settled but you know shinjin arises that means it's arising you know it's do you know there's an act yeah, yeah, yeah. we've talked about it before dynamic aspect so though i wouldn't say i have settled shinjin i think shinjin is arising in the mm. process of shinjin arising is happening in my life yeah um, absolutely and no doubt about oh, it. And, and I this is, say for me, this is one of my many evidences of that. This what I've just kind of talked about, which is nothing I want to talk about at some point in the series is, you know, how we no one else can judge for you mm. and certify, you know, other schools right. of Buddhism have certification of certain things. Mm. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, by by the by the master by the or by the by the teacher by the do you know what I mean sense it we don't really yeah. have that it's Amida Although... is our Amida is our Amida is ultimately the certifier <laughs> do you know what I mean right. I suppose yeah I you know but 
um, has already certified us for Shenzhen, I suppose, <laughs> that we can all have it. Yeah. But do you see what I mean? We don't we don't have a although you're gonna say although there, you make an although point. Well, I was gonna say, you know, that although the the um the certification and, and all of that in uh, other Buddhist denominations might not be quite as much so as a lot of Westerners assume it is. Um, I do remember I was at a, a temple. I attended a Zazen, a, uh, a Zen uh, meditation session at a temple in Kamakura. This was when I was a student at Yokohama National University. And um, the, I had the question I asked, there was sort of a question in Answer after the, the Zazen session. And I asked the um the uh the monk there, um, you know, is there some sort of you know like system or like ranking, like you know, a black belt or in, in judo or something <laughs> as you progress on the path? Um and uh the answer was, you know, very similar to what you would get in Shoto Shinshu is, you know, we, as we are living the path, we, you know, have awarenesses and, and, and we go deeper uh, following the path, but, but there isn't a, you know, there isn't like a, you know, the, the head priest doesn't hand you your back belt, you know, you, you don't have like... <laughs> examinations and, and so on so you know it would be interesting to do a real comparison of of the differences mm -hmm. there but it is true that in jodo shinshu we do not have anything like where um the uh in zin i think or at least in some schools of zin the the abbot or the or the priest who is your you know your superior um will sort of recognize your um put his sort of seal of approval on your experience of satori you know that kind of thing yeah. um although again i don't know a lot about zin so i should probably study more about that you know i i do know if you if you've solved a koan in tools of zin that at least <laughs> use koans then that is considered to be a a spirit, you know, an achievement of of uh, of awakening or something like that. But yeah, we don't in Jodo Shinshu, in Orthodox Jodo Shinshu, I should say, <laughs> because in other Jodo, uh, in other Pureland groups, this has been different. For example, um, the the uh, the Jishu school founded by Ipin Shonin was um, very famous because. Uh, um, they would give out little like amulets to people. And this was sort of your, the proof that you would be born in the peer land, you know, mm -hmm. by, by mm -hmm. receiving this, this, you know, amulet um, that was like your, and, you know, Rinyo, of course, you know, very critical of these kind of um, practices. Now, of course, the Jishu is a separate school and we don't, we don't fight today. You know, <laughs> we don't, we don't have any, it's a different, tradition right but yeah. for, for us as jodo shinshu followers um the problem is that no no thing and no nobody can you know confer shinji <clears throat> you know we can't get shinji from people we can get it only from uh the, the, the Tagata, only the from Tagata. the buddha so, so that is very very uh you know, important, I would say. So, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 any any certification was for Dharmakara <laughs> or, or, yeah. the, or, the, or the monk he was, you know, and then the Bodhisattva yeah, he yeah. was. That the, the, the certification got went to him. You know, <laughs> he did all the certifications for us in that sense, I suppose. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's no, but anyway, yeah, I, I yeah, I see. That, yeah, I that. have heard, you know, I have heard of instances in Jodo Shinshu where, for example, um, the late uh, Zikin Inagaki, a very uh, famous in, in the West, I think, teacher of, of Shin Buddhism. Um, he, uh, I guess he sort of made a confession of his understanding of Shinjin to his father, who was, you know, a temple priest. And, um, and uh, his father says, yes, you... Uh, You've you've basically got it. Your understanding is correct. 
But then he said, but the Pier Land, it is not a place that you can go simply by thinking that you can be born there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you see the, the yeah. it's like we were talking yes. about earlier with the faith and joy. There's a subtle, there's a difference. You know, I, I can't be born in the Pier Land just just by virtue of my thinking that I can be born in the Pier Land. Um, exactly, yeah. That exactly. has to come from um, Amida. So, Amida. Yeah. You know, and, and Zikin, uh, you know, he said a really good phrase I like is, um, he said, you know, Shin, Shinjin is like a, forging, a, making a sword. It has to be, you know, tested and tried and tempered again and again and again. Mm. Definitely. Definitely. That makes sense. Definitely with my experience. <laughs> that you, it's not, and that's a very slow process. Uh, you know, when you properly make a, you know, I'm thinking of a samurai sword, the whole, you know, the pro, all the processes of going into that. Um, it's a very long, for me anyway, it's been, it's been a very, very long uh uh tempering process let's just say um and of well, course it's, it's all amida amida is the sword maker we aren't yeah amida exactly the, yeah and uh it's a uh, water on stone exactly exactly water water on stone you know that's what i'm always going to just say to people when they when they talk about the <laughs> you know yeah. Because the water of the Dharma, and we are, you know, a stone, plonk, yeah. immersed in the water of the Dharma, which is flowing. And that's what listening is, as we're immersing, we're being immersed in immersed. the water of the Dharma. I, oh, that's something that I remember now. The other thing I wanted to come back to now when we were talking earlier, you've just reminded me yeah. by saying that. The immersion, we're immersed in the Buddha. Yeah, I kind of see it as the, you know, you know, we are, we are immersed, you know, as that flowing into the ocean of the vow, we are immersed mm -hmm. in the Buddha mind. It's like, and I've talked about this before, but not quite in this way, the, 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 mm -hmm. the, 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 the Tibetan kind of practice, the, you know, tantric practice of, you know, visualizing a, a particular Buddha you, and mm. seeing it, per, you know, you see it, it, see the Buddha perfectly. And then it kind of, you merge with the Buddha and you become the Buddha, you know, you become the day, you know, the, the, the enlightened mm. being. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, and you, you know, and it's the practitioner, the self power path of that is the practitioner has to the, you know, cultivate their mind state and cultivate their mm -hmm. discipline cult so they can visualize that perfectly and and experience it you know purely and yeah whereas um uh it's the other way around with us the buddha is seeing us and bringing us into him that's kind of how i see it we, we're going into the buddha he's bringing us into his mind yeah, We're not, like it's a difference. Like that's where I see that, that when you say receiving, it's, it's like I'm re oh I'm receiving the Buddha. No, I'm not like you know what I mean. Like I'm gonna receive the Buddha now. I'm gonna receive the Buddha mind. I'm gonna receive the true, sincere and real mind. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna no uh, it receives me. It I flow into you know it 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 brings me into it. It mm -hmm. do you see what I mean? Um, yeah, and specifically yeah. me, you know, this, like that, when I, with that analogy, I know this is just an analogy of drawing, but there's another aspect of that is, and this is a joy aspect of it too, is the realization that the Dharma is for me alone. The Buddha right. visualizes me and brings yeah. me into him, sees me, sees each one yeah. of us in the, and brings us into his mind. Mm. Exactly. Oh, and it's uh yeah. that is very important. I think 
where some people go wrong is when they start thinking that the Dharma is for other people. <laughs> and not, not <laughs> <Yeah>. them. <laughs> and whether you are a lay person like you and I, or a a cleric, a monk, a priest with, you know, robes and so on, it's it's the same. The Dharma is for ones is for us alone, you know. And and what we do, and this is why in Jodo Shinshu, you know, is we share the joy of the experience of the Dharma with with each other. And that is, and again, but it and that's why it's so important, you know, you if you say tell people don't don't worry about your feelings or your thoughts, that's like the end of the conversation, right? (laughs) But If people have joy, if there's actual experience, you know, um, a religious experience there that leads people to exactly. to a joy and an assurance exactly. that they can want to share with, you know, each other. That's that's you know very important. And I do want to want to point out one more thing from this passage on that note. Yes, please. Yeah, come come back to what you were going to continue with there. Yeah. Yeah. Or point out. Well, it continues from what. So we talked about, you know, my thoughts and feelings flowing within the the Dharma ocean. Um, So again, your thoughts and feelings are not discounted. They're not, (laughs) you know, they they are rather your, you know, uh, consciousness, your uh, awareness as a as an as a human being is flowing within the Dharma ocean. Very important. It's not saying that it's not important. It's saying that it's flowing into the Dharma ocean. So very, you know, that's a that's an important thing. And then here, yes, yes, he, he starts by saying how joyous I am, and then he says. My joy grows even fuller. So not only does Shinron have joy, but it it's growing fuller, fuller. And, and more. It's a you know, it's not just it's a continuing a, process. It's a continuing, yeah, 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 evolving, growing experience. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, and, I, yeah, and my gratitude and indebtedness ever more compelling. So it's right. Joy growing fuller yeah. and ever more, <laughs> and gratitude and indebted ever more compelling. So you're compelled yeah, it, by it. Yes, you're you're growing and you're compelled by it. I definitely feel compelled by this. That that's another thing I'll just draw now. I am I am compelled mm. by this this dharma. I if I have not left in seventeen years no. or whatever the heck it's been, um, <laughs> or whatever the hell's it's been. In, uh, in uh, I'll, I'll I'll say it, I'll use the I'll use the if you'll pardon the Buddhist vernacular, the Buddhist <laughs> parlance, whatever the hell's it's been. I um I have been compelled. It compels me. Mm. It, the Dharma, the, the the truth of it, the the yeah. need of it, the need for it. The the you know if I haven't left yet, there's it's I'm it's it's pretty compelling. That's pre- yeah. that's a pretty compelling thing. I haven't stuck to anything in my entire life for that many years. Off and on. So yeah. there is a I mean, you know, it was off and on, obviously, but but you know mm-hmm. never li- really leaving Buddhism really, but you know, but it's that's compelling. The Dharma is compelling. It's it's you know, yeah. I've, I've I've certainly experienced, you know, that. Um, right. And again, right here, this passage I've highlighted, my gratitude and indebtedness. I mean, those are feelings. Yes. <laughs> you, you can't have gratitude without feeling. I yeah. mean, yeah. so let's let's just put to rest this <laughs> nonsense about don't don't talk about your thoughts and feelings, because our thoughts and feelings are part of who we are as human beings. We have thoughts and we have feelings, and they're important, and they have to be addressed and talked about in the context of the Dharma. I mean, you know, there's there's no we can't just put them in a, a little dark box and shove them away in the closet. That's not how you deal with 
that's not how you have a healthy spiritual life. So, um, you know, I, I know that was a that was just a point I felt compelled to bring up uh, today. I, I felt like um, you and I have both heard that little uh, yeah. pick about yeah. the uh, the feelings, and I something about it just didn't agree with me. And I realized when I looked at the Dharma masters, they don't talk like that. <laughs> they don't no. tell us to disregard and to that's actually the path of sages is trying to to stop and you know sort of dissociate mm -hmm. yourself from your feelings or your thoughts that's that's really more you know Sage, like that's um, the provisional that's the provisional path that's the yeah, yeah definitely that's um we're we you know yeah we're not worse not meant we're supposed to not do that <laughs> we're mm. we're meant to just be who we are right know? and changing and, changing doesn't we, turn we, us we, into we, we 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 our birth is assured by becoming the uh, the bamboo that we are which yeah. is along with all our thoughts and feelings flowing yeah. into the dharma ocean you know? exactly <laughs> like, flowing we, into we, the dharma ocean yeah. like we we do you see what I mean? Like you can't mm, absolutely it's pretty um anyway. And you know, so again, joy, you feel joy, gratitude, you feel gratitude. These are, you know, this is <laughs> this is part of our awareness, part of our experience as conscious, you know, living being. So very important that we get i think i feel like this is a this is something that we need to really you know sort of get get right or get straight when we're talking about uh the dharma here Definitely. and um now we do have to discuss of course the flip side of joy <laughs> and there are passages like the one the famous one in tani show where you know, uh, Yuen says, well, I don't feel particularly joyful about going to the peer land and so on. <laughs> and Shinron also talks about similar things. So we, we need to talk about um, the other side of, of joy, let's call it. Yes, <laughs> so when, yes. when, we, when we get to uh, our further further discussions. Or the, um, the human obscuring of joy or the... Yeah, 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 exactly. That's a good point that it ties into, um, you know, in Shoshinge, when it talks about the clouds of our blind passions covering the sky of Shinji. Mm. But behind the clouds, it's bright and there is no darkness. It is. It is. Such an amazing passage. The future is so bright, I got to wear shades. <laughs> <laughs> so you, in, a, in a sense, you're wearing... As a, as a Jodo Shinshu Buddhist, you're wearing shades even when it's raining and storming yeah. and gray. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you still got to wear shades because the future the future looks oh. bright. Under, and I do want to say, gray. yeah, as we close, I guess we're yes. nearing our time. We kind Although of, yeah. start late, so no hurry. But um, <clears throat> this finish, the finale, let's call it, of this passage is... <laughs> To manifest Shinjin within the power of the vow and reveal the incomparable fruit of enlightenment in the land of peace. This here is kind of the key. Yeah. Manifest Shinjin within the power of the vow. So Shinjin is manifested. How is it? Shin, Shinron is telling us here. How is Shinjin manifested? Within, the and the answer power. is within, within the, power the power of the vow, within the working of the vow, within within the power of the vow. So, this can is can we a, read the full? Can we read that full last sentence before yeah, we? Uh, please do. So, so, yeah, uh, please. So may those. So he'll. So we'll just start. A bit earlier that may those who see and hear this work be brought either through the cause of referent reverently embracing the teaching or through the condition of others doubt and slander of it interesting 
to manifest Shinjin within the power of the vow and reveal the incomparable fruit of enlightenment in the land of peace. Pardon me. That, mm. That's kind of a, that's definitely a Hosu drop. That's definitely yeah. a Hosu, Hosu drop right there. <laughs> Hosu drop, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mic drop, you know. Mic I'm just drop. thinking of the, Buddhist, is... the Buddhist equivalent of a of a mic drop is a yeah. hasu drop. Yeah, like Shin, 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 Shinran did have one, so, so yeah, hasu drop. Yeah. yeah, he did. It was given to him by Dogen. Yeah. So I'm sure he uh, he kept he uh, kept it until his final days too. Okay, so I did find the the Japanese in ah, its good. um uh. <clears throat> Moshi kono sho o kenmon sen mono shinjun o in toshi giho o in toshite shingyo o ganriki ni arawashi myoka o anyo ni arawasanto So the meaning of course is as translated but I did want to point out a couple of words um First of all, the the uh, Shinjin there is actually not Shinjin. <laughs> it's Shingyo. So Shingyo, mm -hmm. of course, Shingyo is Shinjin. But um, this is actually Shingyo from uh, Shishin Shingyo Yokusho, the three, threefold faith in the uh, 18th vow. So Shingyo, which of course is Shinjin, but... Technically, the word is not Shinjin. So <laughs> just wanted to point that out in the translation. Um, yes. Shingyo Ganriki. Ganriki is, of course, Gan, vow, and then Riki is power. So the power of the vow. Ni Arawashi, which means, of course, to, to uh, uh, reveal or to manifest. So Shinjin is revealed within the power of the vow i feel like that that is something and i should point out that the man to manifest and to reveal here it's translated differently but it's the same word in japanese so um okay. you could say that shinjin is revealed and manifested to us within the power of the vow and then the incomparable fruit of enlightenment is revealed and manifested in the land of peace would be another way you could translate this passage. Mm. So I feel like that to, to reveal, to manifest, arawasu means to, you know, to, uh, to make clear, to, to bring to light, to manifest, to reveal in Japanese. Um, to reveal or manifest changing within the power of the vow. I feel like this is something we can think about this week and then maybe can yes. be the beginning of yes. our next or continuing discussion. Yeah, um, definitely. I also want to pick up on that previous sentence as well. Where ah, it says, yeah, yeah, yeah. those who see and hear this work be brought either through the cause of referently embracing the teaching or through the condition of others doubt and slander of it boom that's <laughs> quite an interesting yeah i definitely want to i want to yeah. follow up on that i think just glancing at the key is the difference between cause or in in japanese and then condition or in and this is actually in in causes and conditions in buddhism so very important concept but here um yeah it's very interesting what he is saying here so yeah let's discuss that in more detail yeah, de idea. definitely because it almost sounds like mm. a whole nother dimension of uh deep listening that i hadn't <laughs> didn't know was in the teaching <laughs> that you can yeah, even yeah, learn yeah. from the the doubt and slander um, or, or abuse you 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 can you can you can you can here mm. through the condition of the doubt and abuse of the dharma of others mm -hmm. is that very interesting a whole nother you can yeah. learn from everything Indeed. you can learn you can hear from everything hear yeah yeah the truth from everything you can anyway mm -hmm. yeah it's uh well shinron's writings are nothing if if not 
fascinating and, and yeah. filled with with uh with flips and mic drops and uh, other <laughs> yeah. flips hustle drops and mind blowing uh, revelation indeed so mm. yeah great well this was a great discussion great was wonderful continuation of our last uh I actually really enjoy this format of taking a passage and just talking about it. Digging it's in. such a yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It really is whatever. So yeah. yeah, definitely. Um I agree, agreed. So thank you so much, as always. Mm. It has yeah, been thank a you. great, great discussion for me um as well. And uh yeah, so uh will we be able to meet next, next week? Yeah, I should be fine. Um, yeah, nothing planned for Sunday. Usually, there isn't much planned for Sunday evening okay. because the next day is work for me. So it's it's a perfect timing. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. So okay, well, right. shall we close until... with? Gosh, yeah, let's and... do some. Let's yeah, let's do some butsu to end okay. things out. All right. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida. All right. All right. Well, take care. Talk to you again next All the week. best. Okay. Until next time. Bye. All right. Healing frequencies closed. <laughs> take care.